Hi guys, Sam from Premier here and I am going to be showing you some multi-activity games. All right? This will test a variety of your skills from hand-eye coordination to balance and so on and so forth. So today we are learning to perform a range of multi-skills and our two main keywords are control and balance. In the next activities, all right, it's really, really important that we are in a safe and sensible space, preferably outside on the grass, all right? And if you can have a partner for these challenges, it would be great. So mum, dad, brother, sister, whoever it is at home, please feel free to get involved. So the multi-skill challenges, I'm gonna show you a wide range now of different activities, all right? So the first thing we're gonna do is a balancing challenge. If you've got a bean bag, Please use a bean bag. Something else you might at home if you haven't got one is a pair of socks, obviously bunched up. All right, I'm going to use the bean bag for the time being because these are irons and they are a little bit smelly. So uh, I'm going to leave them in my pocket now. Okay. So all we're going to do: choose a part of the body to balance the bean bag. The only thing I will say is you are going to be moving and racing against your partner. Okay. So Ryan has chosen the head. I'm going to choose the shoulder. Okay. Not allowed to use my hands to keep control of the bean bag. Okay. All it is is simple. There, next to the cone and back, I must stop here with control of the bean bag to win. All right, are you ready, Ryan? I'm ready. Ready, steady. Oh, nearly. <laughs> Go. Oh, Mr. Spencer's in front. Fantastic. And I've got back and I've won. Unfortunately, you guys at home, we all know that I probably cheated there. So we're going to do it again. Ryan, I promise we're going to play by the rules this time. Okay, I'm going to choose the other shoulder this time. Ready, steady. Go. Oh no, oh, lost control. Back and stop. Who do you think the winner was, Ryan? I'd say you. Yeah, why though? Because I dropped my back. You did, lost control, and today the focus is on control. So that's a really important part, okay? As you can see, I've still got control of mine. Perfect. Now, different challenges you can do. Balance more than one thing. So we're going to have another race now. I'm going to choose the back of my hand. Ready, Ryan? Yep. Go. So all of a sudden I've had to move a little bit slower because I've got more things to balance to keep control. Oh, well, Ryan's obviously won that one. I had a slightly hard challenge, so again, that's well done to Ryan. Okay, give yourself a round of applause, Ryan. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna pick these up, leave here, and again, if you haven't got a tennis ball or a bean bag or a pair of socks, I'm sure everyone's got a pair of socks somewhere, even if they're smelly like Ryan. So Ryan, you don't need your beanbag for this activity. Come and stand in front of me. So all we're going to do is just practice some sending and receiving. Okay, underarm, focusing on the target, sending towards. So you see how gentle our arms are. We're not swinging backwards and forwards with loads of power. I'm mainly using my right hand, so I'm going to challenge myself and use my left hand. Now, if you've mastered this, and we're sending towards our partner's torso, which is this area here, because it's the easiest way to receive, all of a sudden now, we're going to start challenging our balance, so we're going to go on one leg. I'm actually balancing on my weaker leg, because I think this is going to be more of a challenge for me. If this is still easy, Ryan can take a step back. Good. Now, if I'm struggling to keep my balance, I can go on to two, and then I can maybe start to try and catch with one. So now, really important that I'm watching the beanbag the whole time, and every time looking to watch the beanbag into my hands, perfect. Okay, now I'm finding this really easy. So Ryan might go onto two feet now and go onto one hand. Okay, this time I'm going to hop on one spot. So now I'm hopping on one spot. I'm really testing my control and my coordination now. Okay, doing a pretty good job. So I'm going to go onto my weaker foot now. Okay, Ryan might even start to try and hop now. Fantastic, well done Ryan. You're doing a really good job. And then we're going to stop there. Okay, so there's a few different challenges for you to do that. You could quite easily make that into a competition. All right, how many times can you do it in 30 seconds? And you can send in your scores and videos to us. Okay, the final challenge we're going to do is a game that most of you will know called Clap Catch. So, again, socks, beanbag, you've got bigger balls, smaller balls, the choice is yours. We're going to work as a pair. All right, so Ryan, I'm going to throw it. You've got to clap once and catch it. Ready? Fantastic. I've also completed round one. Oh, okay, so now 
what happens is if Ryan completes round one, which he did, which was one clap and a catch, the next time he goes on to round two, which is two claps and a catch. So I'm on round two. Fantastic. Good. So at home, why and what have I done wrong? Yep, the answer is I didn't do three claps. Okay, so I'm still on round three. Ryan, you are on round three. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic again. Again, if you want to challenge yourself, guys, you can go on one leg. So again, so Ryan now, you're on four claps, okay? We might have to move back a little bit just to make sure that we've got enough space to throw up and down. Fantastic. Always oh, just get balance well done. Fantastic. Now he's on five. Oh, great catch. Well done, Ryan. Oh, so I did five, but I've dropped it. Unfortunately, that means I'm still on round five. So you guys at home get the picture. You can do that with brother, sister, anyone at home. Any of those challenges. Give yourself something to work towards. Know your personal best, and then can you try and beat it, okay? Good luck, guys. So my one and only question to you guys at home is this. In any of those multi-skill activities we've just done, could you name me one challenge I could give somebody to test their balance even further?